So this is the Ulanzi desktop clock. And also not a flex, but this is my YouTube subscriber count, which I like to look at and remember how many of you are supportive and I can't thank you enough. And there are some other really great things about this clock and I'll also share with you how to set it up. Also, they sent me an extra one, so that means I can do a giveaway. And I'll tell you how to win later on in the video, but it involves leaving a comment. All right, let's get started. Mr. Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black. I love to share with you cool gear that comes my way. If you're new here, you like this kind of stuff, don't be a stranger. You can click that button right there. Also, if you can click this one here, it gives me a warm and fuzzy feeling when you do. Thank you, I felt that. I'll put links to everything down in the description so you can find it nice and easily, plus a surprise link. But here it is, the Ulanzi Wi-Fi desktop clock. You power it on by holding these two arrows. And here's the gist, it's an easy clock that displays the date and time. But when you have this thing on, it actually just shuffles through, or you can decide which one you want to show, and you can use the arrows on the top to get to that mode faster. If you press the center button, it will lock it in place. It has a built-in battery, or you can leave it plugged in the whole time, but it also can use Autrix, which means if you can learn a little bit of simple coding, you can actually unlock this to do a lot more. Do I know how to do that? No, but I'm willing to learn. So when you first power this thing on, it will give you an IP address, and then use your phone to type it in, and then you can connect it to your Wi-Fi. And then when you go back to that IP address, you can unlock so much more. And that's something that makes this clock especially awesome, is that they can update things on the back end so that you don't have to worry about upgrading the hardware, you can just update the software of it. Okay, so looking at that web page, you have your general settings where you have language, and if for some reason yours is in Chinese, you just click that top one and you can switch it to English. You can adjust the brightness of your clock. I like to set it on auto, which saves the battery a little bit more. This is where you can switch the speed if you want it to go a lot slower or a lot faster. This is where you could set your time zone, your time format, your date format. You can also customly set your night mode, so after a certain period of time, night mode will start and it will save a lot more battery. If you click next, this is where you get all those different modes or modules and you can turn those on and off depending on what you want. So you have time, you have date, you have weather, which right now it only works with China cities, but at the moment they are working to fix this. I have spoken to them, so just sit tight, but they're working on it. And the weather will only show you temperatures in Celsius, but I hear they're about to get effed up soon. You know, like Fahrenheit did soon for everyone in America. You could show your Billy Billy subscribers and Weibo, and then YouTube fans. Now YouTube's a little bit tricky, so we'll come back to that here in a second, but they did tell me that they're going to be adding like Instagram and Facebook and some other things soon. You can have a scoreboard on here, and I love that because if you're playing some kind of game, you can easily just uh, keep score. I don't know, it's kind of fun. You have a timer, you have a 25 minute countdown, which they call tomato clock. You can also display your battery power. There's this little matrix background you could put on. And then there's the Autrix simulator where you can customize this a lot more. It takes some knowledge of coding, but you can do that and you can add your Instagram and Facebook and your local weather and things like that. Now, I'm assuming that you're here because you want to display your YouTube subscriber account. And I think that after a thousand, it rounds down to the nearest hundred. So even if this was at 299, it would still say 200 until it goes over to 300. All right, so for the YouTube one, you're gonna click this little gear here and you're gonna actually try to find your YouTube UID, which is not your user ID, it's your channel ID, but they say UID. And to find that, if you go to your channel, like from your studio, if you go to that URL, it's that big number here after the slash. So that was the easy part. Now it comes the fun part, we'll call it and that's getting an API key. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, but in case I'm going too fast, I'll put step-by-step -step instructions down in the description. So first thing you're gonna do is sign into your Google Console Cloud. Then you're gonna click Create Project or Select Project for API Key. Then you're gonna click on the navigation menu, which is in the top left corner. You're gonna to go to APIs and services and go to library. You're gonna scroll down and then you're gonna click on the YouTube Data API V3. And then click on enable YouTube Data API V3. Now we need to create credentials for our YouTube API key. So click on credentials, click on API key, and now you'll get your YouTube API key. And then you simply copy it and then you can paste it right here on that spot right there. Might take a second to uh, get it updated, but uh, it should work. And if right now you're writing in the comments, it didn't work for you, just go back and repeat those steps exactly how I just showed you because maybe you clicked on the wrong thing, but it does work. 
You can pick up this Ulanzi desktop clock, or as they call it, smart pixel clock, for under 50 US dollars. And also, I just love that there's more that they're gonna be doing with it, so I'm excited to see. This is a really cool thing for $50. Would be a great gift if you have some kind of creative person in your life. But let me tell you about the giveaway. It's simple, just drop a comment. Let me know which mode you would leave this stuck on the most. Would it be the YouTube subscriber one? Would it be the Matrix thing? You know, just let me know what mode. And the next time I do a public live stream, I will pick one of your comments at random and uh, hopefully you will win. And remember, I will never reply to your comment telling you that you've won. If someone does that and they say they're me, that's a scam, don't buy into that. Other than that, I'll pin a comment at the top so if the contest is already over, uh, I'll let you know so you don't have to do that. But that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I have a lot of really cool gear to get to and share with you, so I'm excited about that. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Ooh.